So back up with the 21, replace this hydraulic hose. I had uh, a rubber hose made up, a bit of flex in it. So hopefully when it goes onto the ram down here, um, runs back up into the engine bay there. That bit of flex will stop it from breaking. Haven't had the rain up here that we thought we might have. So hardly any water in the dam. And today we should get some footage of the 21, pushing a few trees and maybe a bit of dirt. See how we go. Three new bolts, all with the same size head. The last, the bolts that I pulled out, every bolt had a different size head. Tear the crutch out of your 90, it would. <clears throat> Nothing annoys me more. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Zip ties, the greatest thing to ever be invented for holding pipes together. For Holding taps closed for repairing ships that you don't have time to do properly. These are big ones, big long ones. I've got a multitude of sizes. Back when I was in the reserves, we used them a lot when you break your pack. Always something handy to have in the toolbox is a heap of zip ties. So I'm just zip tying the uh, hose onto the ram. Hopefully that'll keep it protected from all the bits and pieces that flick up and try to attack it. them close together. Alright, tighten that one up down the bottom and put some oil in it. And see where that leads us. <laughs> so 
So yes, I'm using that ugh, shifter back to front, but it's the only way I can get it to fit in there. That's the sort of mechanic I am, is a many different size shifters mechanic. Whatever works at the time is what I use. Shielding for the motor. Stop trees and sticks and shit flying in there. You didn't think it'd fit. Just whether or not that hose would be happy to sit there with it. Anyway, that looks pretty good. Yes, we dumped a fair bit of oil between the two hoses breaking. Well, the joys of these old machines is it's all engine oil from the engine right through to the transmission final drives. That's the word I was looking for. Even the torque converter's running on 30 weight oil. The earlier ones of the HD21s had a um, diesel powered torque converter. This is one of the last 21As. They went to B's after this. But um, this, this version they changed to a oil powered torque converter. Which is much better. So, uh, hydraulic oil for the rams, lift rams and the torque converter all share the same oil so when I dropped when I broke the hydraulic hoses I dropped oil it's come out of where the torque converter lives as well sucking from the bottom of the barrel now That'll do it, I think. There's all oil all the way up the pipe. <clears throat> it's hard to measure it when it's like that. Let it settle in there, I'll check it again later. All right, should throw some fuel in it, I guess.
How much fuel does it take? Lots and lots and lots. Putting 80, uh, 60 litres in it now, which is for about three hours. Uh, crumbs. So as you can see, that whole tank there, that's a fuel tank, that whole... That whole back bit. Back bit. Mm. Definitely not the best way to have to fuel it up. We can't get service trailers or anything to it at the moment, so we'll just put 60 litres in at a time. Go from there. Once we get this road through the centre, I'm hoping we can get a service trailer to it. At least bring a 44 gallon drum to it. He says service trailer, I just hear the words lots of money. The old trailer that's down the bottom of the hill. It's got burnt out tyres and all that on. Oh, you got plans. Plans. I've got plans. I've got plans for timber that you're going to reuse. Yep. Timber. Yards to be built. Big shed at home. Timber from the block. Hopefully we'll get that all. He's neglected my kitchen. Oh, the big raw slab bench tops is what we're going to run in the kitchen. Should look good. <laughs> Just a matter of getting it done. Well, that's a sizable tank running there. What are these on the back again? Rippers. I don't know whether people can see that. With this light. Was that one, Jerry? Mm-hmm. Three to go, uh, two to go. From memory somewhere, I don't know where it's coming from, but it's about under full load, about 30 litres an hour. So, we're a long way from running at full load though. Between me getting to know it and what we're doing, they're not sort of needing to run at full noise all the time. We might be full noise, but we're not at full load. The okay. so, Alice Chalmers. I'm not sure if it, uh, the 21As or the original 21s had a GM motor in them and like a lot of early GMs, they were all noise and very little push. Because this one here has got a, a Buddha motor. Um, Alice Chalmers bought Buddha motors and put their own diesels in for these. They push fairly good. I brought three metres of filler hose and now that I'm standing up here looking down to the ground I'm thinking I need more than three metres of hose to get here.
that's as good as we're gonna get for now. Run out of time on a Sunday. I'll put the spillway over that side, take the weight off this side where we just repaired it. That great big lump there is a stump in the wall. It's a bit annoying, but anyway. Job done, can have some rain.